So four months ago, I moved to South Korea. In less than five days, I would have left South Africa. D minus four days before I leave. <laughs> <laughs> so D minus three days, meaning it is Wednesday today. So it's today, Thursday, Friday. <laughs> D minus one day, aka a few hours. <laughs> okay, so I've been gone from this channel for about four months, more than four months, a little bit more than four months. And that's because I moved to South Korea. As you guys have seen, it's been a very hectic journey. Like 2023 for me was a whirlwind. I felt like I lived three years in one. Um, my decision to move to South Korea was actually because uh, since I started school more than 10 years ago, I had never taken a break. So I went to primary school, high school, university for like plus minus seven years. And then I got my first internship immediately after university. So I never got a break. And I think I was in that point in life where I was desperately craving a break from everything. As much as I love the field I studied in, I needed a break from it. But coming from a background that I come from, I can't really take a break and just go home and sit and do nothing. It does not make sense for me personally. It does not make financial sense. I doubt my parents would agree. Maybe they would, but I don't know. Um, it just didn't seem like the move. So that's why I looked into what exactly can I do to kind of rest my brain a little bit um, not be running towards anything for a little while but also be able to support myself financially and also I looked at my dreams my goals what do I like what do I want to achieve what is the one thing I've always wanted to do and when I evaluated and I thought about it I realized that the one thing my one thing has always been I want to travel the world then that is when everything just fell into place everything made sense what can i do to travel the world but also be able to <laughs> take a break from it all but also be able to make some money teach in south korea um because one i won't be in my continent i will be teaching so i will be working but it won't be as intense of a job as back home and i'll be able to financially support myself so that's why i came to south korea ladies and gentlemen guys i made it to Incheon. can you see all the hunkers <laughs> behind me this is Incheon airport i made it with all of my bags and i'm with my friend over there i made it oh my gosh 20 hours and some minutes of flying i am finally in south korea i can't believe <gasps> guys i am living my dream i do not want to lie to you and incheon airport is so beautiful like it's so hot and humid though guys i literally have no words <laughs> D arrival day <laughs> so the journey actually started back in September 2022 when I decided this is what I'm gonna do and I started by figuring out what is the process what documentation is needed and the first step for me was to send my degree to get verified by Saka um, I got a response from them I think around December January when I was back at work from the festive season so this was January 2023 and I got the ball rolling around February I had an interview with my recruiter and I gathered some more documentation 
March, I put in an official application for Epic. April, I think I got my interview with Epic. Was it April or May? Somewhere there. But you're going to get reimbursed for that after you come to Korea. 1.3 million Korean won. My first interview with Korea, that's the consulting company I'm applying for Epic with. And I think <laughs> I was overthinking things, like trying to prepare kind of what is my teaching philosophy and stuff like that. It was actually a nice chat. And among all of this, you need to remember that I still had a full time job that I was going to Monday to Friday. And as you guys know, my job includes working from the office as well as field work. So you can imagine how much I was doing at the same time. I was juggling my application and my job. Hi. I just had, <laughs> I just had my epic interview. It went well. It went really well. My interview was so nice. I think I answered that. I answered the questions well. So currently, you even see the time, 7.51, yeah. So I'm going to work. Um, <laughs> so that is everything I did. From March, I think after I passed the interview, that's when everything just had to be done. I had to collect my documents, sign the contract, apply for a visa and all of this. And in this timeline, I have to also consider the fact that I'm living in a province where I'm not originally from. So I had to plan my life. When am I going to resign from my job? Because I was going to leave in the middle of my contract. So my contract was two years. It was supposed to end this year, 2024, around February. So I was in the middle of my contract. I needed to plan when am I going to resign? When am I going to move out of my apartment? When am I going to go back home? Because everything needed to be done systematically. So I was busy with my application, thinking about that, going to work. And then let's think of the timeline. Around June was my birthday. She's 26 old now. She's 26 old now. She's 26 old now. and i think i went home for my birthday when i returned from my birthday that's when i started talking to my supervisor at work around my resignation and the process that i've been up i've accepted for a position in south korea i'm planning to leave and all of that so i handed in my resignation somewhere june or july i don't really remember and I had to move out of my apartment. So I moved out of my apartment, I think end of June. And then I lived with a family member in Pretoria because I still had work. So I worked the rest of July. And then end of July, I moved back home to Limpopo to stay with my parents a little bit before I left. I officially left South Africa on the 19th of August, 2023. I was so excited. You know how when you like at the airport, people will be sad, they will cry. I honestly thought I was going to cry. But me being me and con uh, considering the fact that I've always wanted to travel so much, I was so excited about the new journey. So when I passed through security and immigration, immigration, passport control, and realizing that this is my first international trip, and I am moving to another country <laughs> for a year. It was amazing. I was so excited. I felt like I was not even in my body. I just felt like maybe I'm watching something happening to me, but I'm not necessarily experiencing it. I cannot explain the emotion to you guys. But yeah, I took that journey by myself. I left my parents on the other side. 
I got on a plane to Dubai from Dubai to Incheon, South Korea and I met amazing people. We went through orientation. I moved into my apartment and I started my new job. Now, four months living in South Korea, it's been very interesting. The time now is 13.35, almost 13.35 two months living in Korea and am I happy? Yes. Am I content? Yes. Do I have any worries? Not particularly. Am I enjoying what I do? Yes. Am I tired? Yes. <laughs> but I feel like we're all tired at this point in the year. Mm, everything has been good. I cannot complain although i miss certain types of food and it's very weird because it's not food that i can be like send me this like i miss liboroso they can't send me liboroso like i don't miss bobobe i eat bobobe like that other weekend mara i'm good guys look at me i'm covered in snow I picked up a snowball. <laughs> picked up snow on the road. I am the most excited girl in South Korea right now. Like, like, look at me. Snow. <laughs> I'm yo get happy. And I'm going back home now. I came outside just to see snow by the way. The reason why I decided not to push myself to go back to YouTube was because number one, my YouTube channel is not about my life in the sense of vlogs of what I do, although I do have a little bit of vlogs here and there, but that's not the point. The point was my channel is not about content in South Korea. My channel is about environmental sciences and it's going to stay that way. If you do want to see what I get up to, maybe you can follow me on my social media, on Instagram. But that is not the type of content I'm going to be making. Just putting it out there. I'm going to continue making the content I've been making. And so to get back to what I was saying, my experience in South Korea has been very interesting, very fun. Um, it's interesting living in a foreign country where they don't speak your language and yeah <laughs> it's been fun i'm currently learning korean but i've been learning korean for quite a while i started learning korean back in 2022 not because i was thinking of moving it was at the back of my mind but mainly because i consume a lot of korean entertainment media so i wanted to be able to understand also learning a foreign language is very fun as somebody from South Africa who speaks and understands a bunch of languages in the country, learning a language is very fun, I must say. So living in South Korea has been fun. I just wanted to make this video so that I'm not all of a sudden back and it's like nothing happened, but to fill you guys in. Frequently asked questions before I leave. How long am I planning to be in South Korea? For now it's two years, I don't know, it might increase or might decrease. I'll see how it goes, but I don't really have like a set timeline of how long I want to be here. So we will see how, which program I'm teaching in a public school. So I came with the EPIC program, which recruiter I used, Corvia Consulting. Is it Corvia Consulting? I used Corvia and what is the process of applying i'm personally not going to make a video about how to come to south korea so i will put all the youtubers i've watched to figure out how to get here in the description box and in the pinned comment so the first comment will be all the youtubers that i watched there's a whole bunch of them Letty maps anna pukubie there's so many that I'm probably forgetting to mention, but they have step by step how to gather your documents, which ones are needed, how to apply every single thing. I will leave it in the description box and in the first pinned comment on my channel so you guys can watch those. I missed you guys so much and I'm so excited to get back to making videos for you. I have a whole, what do we call it? 
roadmap I have it all planned out that's what I'm trying to say so I hope you have your post notifications on because we are back to one video a week Mondays 10 a.m. South African time which is 5 p.m. Korean standard time so I hope to see you next Monday for another video I hope you enjoyed this one so if you have any other question that you think you're interested to know you can put it down in the comments and i'll answer it i will see you in the next video <laughs> bye